right, we went out bourbon hunting today. It was semi-successful. Uh, we got a bottle of Stag Batch 22A, pretty darn cheap. Uh, we paid a lot of money for a Weller CYPB. And then we got this guy. I was going to drive to Rochester for it, but they had it in Buffalo. This is the Crypt Keeper. And we're going to crack this open and see how it is. I can smell that right away. Oh my God. It's definitely, you can tell it's finished. Look how dark that is. So let's let this air out a little bit and I'm going to read the back. You can always just go to the website and read it. It's going to say the same thing. It says, deep in the darkness of the Rackhouse Crips told the spirits who haunt distilleries around the world. They know the secrets of the casks. They care for the whiskey as it ages. Far removed from the mortal concerns of the makers who tend to the stills by day or the politics of commerce, they know of the few select barrels that are like no other. The Crypt Keeper brings you a spirit born in the hills of Kentucky that lay dormant for 12 years in oak and sherry casks in the heat and the chills of Texas. We hope you enjoy this rare selection as much as we care for the barrels do. Okay, so it sounds like it's Kentucky sourced. It sounds like it is uh, barreled and stored in Texas. And I know it says age 12 years there, but if you look on the back, it says, where is it? Don't make me a liar. Oh, come on. I saw it before. There we go. On the top. On the top. It says uh, age seven years in New American Oak and then five years in, in uh, sherry casks. Oh, well. It's been sitting around for a bit. Uh, we like the bottle. It's a cool bottle. And uh, we do like the Thomas More finished in sherry. So we're going to see how this is. I'm a little skeptical because uh, aging all that time in Texas, I don't know how this is going to be. <laughs> I want to say, I want to say I smell prunes, which doesn't, isn't as off-putting as it sounds. Interesting. Um, definitely heavy sherry. I am going to have to give some of this to uh, my wife because this is a pretty big pour here. Now I'm going to say this was Deb's purchase, but um, I wanted this too. Okay, you're definitely getting, getting the sweetness from the uh, sherry. And I don't know if you can see, but... Um, it has, has some pretty good legs there. Uh, you, you're getting some oakiness, but not too oaky. It's, it's only seven years in the oak. And um, yeah, you're getting a little bit of that. Oh, I want to say <laughs> it's not a strong scent because I can't stand prune juice. But almost like a prune juice. But not, not disgusting. Like so this is interesting. Um, yeah, I'll drink this. It's it's not a drain pour. It's it's good. Um, this was about uh, a ninety dollar bottle, so it's a little on the pricier side. It's only a hundred proof, so you're really not getting the heat. 
I'd say the the finish is short. Um, actually, on the on the finish, faint, 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 pepper. I'll be curious to see how this opens up, because um, when I initially taste uh, bourbons um, after the second pour, you know, after it's been sitting in the bottle for a while. I tend to enjoy them much more. I'm not saying I am not enjoying this. It's different. I don't regret the purpose, the purchase. If you like a sweet bourbon, because this is finished five years in the sherry cask, give this one a try. Plus, it's a freaking cool ass bottle. Cheers. you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our station.